Let's move on to Tenerife. We're going to fly next door. Sorry, gentlemen. Uh, how many people know how many islands there are in the Canary Islands? Anybody? How many islands in the Canary Islands? Eight. Eight? Oh, if you include Venezuela, where you used to live. Yes, La Paraista, yes. There's seven Canary Islands uh, and two provinces. So the province that we're, we're working in here is the province of Tenerife, uh, which is also the province, not just the island. The island gives the province a name. And that includes Tenerife, La Gomera, La Palma, and the beautiful island of El Hierro. Now I have to say we absolutely love El Hierro as well. It is stunning. It is one of the most remote uh, islands in the Canary Islands. It's also the youngest, I believe. My scientist here, it is the youngest. Um, uh, that's what you know, 2011, yesterday. 2011, yeah, in geological terms, that's yesterday. I'm a journalist, that was a couple of years ago. <laughs> um, so yes, they did have a, a submarine eruption. In fact, that one of your scientists did a webinar on for us last summer. I don't know if it was Pedro or Lassar, gave a, a lovely webinar on, uh, on the, sub uh, the submarine eruption of the Yerba, which was very interesting. But they have a president there called Alvidio Armas. Um, and again, we're very keen to give a, a platform and a voice to, to the work that he's doing there because he wants a Yerba Island to be the very first 100% renewable landmass in the world. He wants the island to derive its energy from water and from wind. Um, and they've got some lovely projects going on over there. Unfortunately, Alvido couldn't be with us today, but he did record a little presentation for us, which we'll start with, if you, if you like. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, I want to uh, greet you all and thank you for giving us the, the opportunity of being here, uh, addressing to you and uh, uh, telling the fort uh, Liero Island is, uh, uh, is involved in uh, uh, trying to get 100%, 100% renewable energies in this island, not only electricity, but water as well. Mr. Armas, you have spoken recently in the press about your aim to ensure El Hierro relies only on wind and water for its future energy needs. Is this realistic? And how close are you to achieving this aim? Sure, it is a realistic aim. Uh, as, and, uh, it is as close as June this year. In June this year will be the, 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 uh, the, the very moment in which uh, El Hierro will start uh, this uh, specific project that uh, want to provide electricity to the, the demand of electricity and water as well in the, for the whole island with natural sources, wind and water particularly. I want to state that along with this uh, we have uh, some other programs. El Hierro is uh, 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 the biosphere uh, reserve from uh, uh, 2020. Uh, we have some other programs like the mobile a sustainable mobile uh, project and re the recyclable project as well. So this is the, the framework in, where, in which uh, we move and this is the, our aim of uh, getting this uh, electricity and water together in the same project, in the project of uh, Corona del Viento in which the local government, which is El Cabildo Insular, has the 60 percent, uh, Endesa has uh, got the 30 percent, and then the uh, Gobierno de Canaria, uh, Canarian government, through um, ITC, has got 10 percent. And with the help of, uh, of course, of the central government and European government as well. So, uh, this is what El Yer wants, this is uh, in what we are really involved, completely involved, and uh, this is what we want to say to the world, we want to say to people interested in uh, green uh, energy, in uh, uh, sustainability and uh, in this uh, respect to nature. Do you have any specific requirements or projects that you would like to invite UK renewable companies and investors to work on in El Hierro? Well, as I've, I've told before, the main project of Liaro is uh, Corona del Viento, but we have alo alongside with this we have some others. Uh, we have the mobility uh, project, which uh, pretends, which intends, to have the 100% mo mobility of the of the island in the near future, in ten years, ten years time, 
uh, with electricity. I'm talking about the electric cars. And um, the recycling cycle, we have 100%, we pretend to have 100% of the waste of the island have to be recycled. And um, uh, we have some other projects in which uh, all these people interested in green, interested in nature, in, in aims with the, with the uh, sustainability, uh, will be interested. Uh, so I do invite you to come to Riero and see how we are uh, working with these uh, many projects and uh, it will be finally uh, your decision if you want to come or want to participate with us. Mr. President, thank you for participating in our 100% Renewable Conference. Well, I, I, I want to thank you all, uh, you all again and uh, letting us the opportunity of uh, being today. Uh, unfortunately, I would have liked to be in London today, but um, I'm not. Uh, schedules uh, uh, sometimes are not uh, what we want to eat day to eat. And this time I would like to be in London today, but not, it is not possible anyhow. Thank you again. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoy this uh, forum, this um, uh, uh, particular forum, and a uh, very important forum for Tenerife and the, and the whole of the province. And uh, don't forget that El Hierro is in, 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 uh, in there. El Hierro is in, uh, one of the Canary Islands. And we have, uh, I think, uh, honestly, we have something to show to the world, something to show to you, and uh, you just come and see what we are doing.